Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to run updates on your Toby Dynavox device. First, we're going to start with the Windows updates. Go ahead and tap on the Windows icon down at the bottom left corner of your screen. Above that, you will see a Settings gear icon. Go ahead and click on that. This will open your Windows Settings page. From here, tap Update and Security at the bottom. This will open your Windows updates. Even if it says that you're up to date, go ahead and hit the gray button that says check for updates. Keep in mind that Windows updates could take a while. It depends on how big the update is and how good your internet connection is. So don't be surprised if it takes longer than you think. Next, I'm going to show you how to check for Toby Dynabox updates. To do this, Double tap on the icon that says Update Notifier on your desktop. It is gray and green. These are updates for all of your Toby products and services. When it opens up, you are greeted with step 1 to 3. In step 1, you are able to select the downloads that you want to do. If you don't want to do the download, simply select it and it will deselect that from the list. If you do want it, Click it again and that will reselect it. Next, go ahead and hit download in order to download this update. Once this finishes, it goes to step two and you have a green install button. Go ahead and click install. Step three, you have a green done button. Go ahead and click Done. The Update Notifier screen will go away, but then it will come back and verify your status, and then it will go away again. Once it does that, your Toby Dynavox updates have been completed. Now I'm going to show you how to check for Snap and Core First updates. First, hit the shopping bag icon on your taskbar at the bottom of your screen, and then hit the three horizontal dots at the top right corner. You'll get the option for Downloads and Updates. Go ahead and click that. Then you will see a blue button that says Get Updates. Go ahead and click that blue button. Once the page loads, you will see this. You have the option to pause the updates as well as cancel the updates. Once the blue line is completely across, it will show under Recent Activity as Modified Today. 